This snippet is working with the DOM view in Super Preview. My name is Jeremy Osborne, presenting from AGI Training from Microsoft. In this snippet, you'll learn how to use the DOM view in Super Preview, as well as coding in Expression Web 3, to help you identify layout issues in Internet Explorer 6. To get started, I'm going to open up the default.html file in the site folder associated with the snippet. And I'm immediately going to go into Super Preview by choosing File, Display in Super Preview. Now just as a refresher, we can see in the lower left-hand corner that I'm using Internet Explorer 8 as my baseline browser, and I'm currently comparing it with Internet Explorer 6. So on the left-hand side is IE8, and the right-hand side is IE6. Now looking at these two pages, I can see I have a problem. On the left-hand side in IE8, I can see my paragraphs are floating around this list of links over here. And in IE6, they're not. So this is a problem. And what I'd like to do is identify exactly why. Now to help me do that, I'm going to use the DOM view. At the very bottom right-hand corner, there's a small tab labeled DOM. Go ahead and click that. Now if you're not familiar with the concept of DOM, it actually stands for Document Object Model. Now Document Object Model is a convention for how objects in HTML and XHTML and XML interact with each other. You can think of objects as elements. And we can think of the DOM view as actually being a tree. And if you've worked at all with HTML, then you're probably familiar with the concept of tags nesting tags, or elements nesting other elements. If we look over here, we can see the parent element HTML. Now, using the DOM view in Super Preview, I can go ahead and click on the arrow to the left, and that expands it. Now I can go down to body and click on that, and it will expand it again. And I can continue clicking on these arrows and seeing how the objects are nested within each other. Now there's another little concept here which is probably more useful if you've had experience with it in the past, but I'll point it out here. In the upper right hand corner, we can see that there are some orange brackets and it's labeled has layout. Now the concept of has layout is a little tricky to summarize. Essentially, you could think of has layout as a concept that determines how HTML elements are drawn and how content within them interacts with other content. And more specifically, with Internet Explorer 6, when elements have this concept has layout, then generally speaking, they work very well. When elements are not enabled with the layout concept, problems sometimes occur. And we can tell here by expanding these arrows that one of these containers, the div ID labeled container itself, is actually gray bracket, which means it does not have this layout concept. So I'm going to go ahead and click on container. Sure enough, when I click on container, I can see that this is the box that contains the content that has my problem. So I'm going to dive down a little deeper and click on that arrow again. And I can see a number of other div IDs, left column, center column, right, and so forth. You should be aware that this is really a process. This is just helping us narrow down where the issue is. And specifically, we're interested in the name of the problem. Now, I can reverse engineer as well. Within Super Preview, I can simply click on this paragraph here. And the DOM view will automatically expand, and I can see the element highlighted. So now I can see that this paragraph has a class labeled do float, and it's nested within a div labeled body area. So I'm going to go back to expression web, and I'm going to click on my code view by going to the bottom left hand corner. And now I want to open up the style sheet that's associated with this document. So I'm going to locate this line, styles.css, and then I'll control click to open it. Now, a quick way to locate this code within my code view is to press Control F. And now I'm going to go ahead and type in body area and press Find Next. What this will do is automatically find that rule within my code. Now I'm going to close the Find and Replace, so this is an easy way to find the problem. And now again, I need to use a process of elimination. Now, what I could do is look at this rule and simply delete it. However, a better choice would be to do something called commenting. What I'm going to do is comment out that rule so that it's temporarily invisible. However, I can always turn it back on if I want. In order to comment, you can either type by pressing forward slash and an asterisk, but you need to make sure that you close that comment as well by putting an asterisk and then another forward slash. So we can see here that that rule is now commented out in gray, which means that the browser will ignore it. I'll go ahead and save. And now I'm going to go back to Super Preview. 
However, I need to do this from my design view, so I'll click on default.html and then choose File, Display in Super Preview. I'm going to scroll down here and I can see that indeed this solved the problem. My text is now floating to the left. So what you've seen here is that Super Preview can serve as a tool to help you identify where problems lie. This doesn't mean that it's automatically going to solve your problems. However, it can narrow them down and make troubleshooting a little bit easier. Thank you for now. This is Jeremy Osborne presenting from AGI Training for Microsoft.